Thank you for the invitation. I will demonstrate Sina Tools, which is an open source toolkit for Arabic and LB. It's under the MIT license. It comes with uh, ABI, Python ABIs, command lines, collapse, demos, many demos, also many, many data sets. And uh, it consists of several modules, as you see, and in all of them, we outperform all related tools. Uh, for the installation, uh, you can uh, check the implementation, the, the documentation to see that you can download Sina Tools in two ways, either bib install, bib, Sina, bib install Sina Tools, or you can clone the uh, code from the GitHub. Remark that you can also, or you need to download some data files. It depends on the mod, on the module you, you use. Uh, Download files, downloads everything, but you don't need it most of the time. So if you need only the near, the near for example, you can say download uh, underscore files minus F and then near. If you need the morph, you can put the, just the morph. You need them all, you can just write them, the, the, the four of them. I will show you the morphology tagger. It's called Alma, by the way, in Sina tools. Uh, so given a sentence, we give you the results in... Uh, JSON. Uh, so uh, it gives the uh, lemmatizer, the, the lama. It is according to the Kabas lexicon, by the way. So it's Kabas lamas. And then the uh, BOS tagger, uh, it, it, it uses about 40,000, uh, sorry, 40, tag, 40 tags. is similar to uh, similar to uh, uh, SAMA data set or LDD data set. Also, we can give you the root. So let me show you the uh, demo. So this is a demo. By the way, you can use this demo. You can copy paste about uh, 30,000 tokens and it will work. It is very fast, as you see. So here are the tags, the POS, the ALMA. And by the way, the LAMA, you can, these are, uh, in in Kabas lamas, uh, okay. So just to show the that the benchmarks, uh, this is a this ex some experiments that show that uh, the Alma module in Sina tools, the Morph Tagger, is faster and more accurate than compared with Madamera, Camel tools, and Farasa. Way way faster and more accurate in all scenarios. I will show you now uh, the Selma module, which is for since this ambiguation in Sina tools called Selma module. So given a sentence, it will give you full analysis or semantic tagging of the uh, of the module. The documentation, I'm avoiding the documentation, but the documentation, you can find it in the Sina tools documentation, but I will show you now the demo is uh, where you can put a sentence and just push w, WSD. As you see here, so it gives you the results. Uh, so Selma or the WSD tagger is a pipeline of semantic taggers. First, we do single where this ambiguous, since this ambiguation. So we bring the exact meaning of every word in the sentence. But some of the words like Daribat al dakhil are phrases. We call it multi-word WSD. So we, we also, we have dictionaries for single words and also dictionaries for multi-words. In addition, uh, like here, uh, Palestine is, is a country where uh, uh, then we can also uh, use the near module. So three taggers together uh, work in a pipeline to give the semantic uh, tagging. Um, so the benchmarking is actually, it is the, uh, it's actually the only available WSD uh, tool uh, so far for Arabic now. Uh, the data sits and, and also everything is open source. Now I will show you the third module, which is named entity recognition, which uh, we call it Wujud module, module. So Wujud or the named entity recognition for Arabic, we, we support nested, flat, we support also 21 types of entities in addition to 31 sub uh, entity types. 
with very high accuracy, as you see. Well, actually, it is the state of the art. Let me show you the demo. As you see here, so Jamiat Birzet is an entity, and Birzet is a sub, or not a sub, but this is listed. This is organization, this is GBE, this is organization, this is pairs, and uh, these are the uh, guidelines, the, the, the tags we support, and the, all the data sets are available uh, for downloading. So CNA Tools is the uh, outperformed all uh, to all related tools. It actually, is the only one that supports this type of uh, rich set of entity types. So we come to the fourth uh, module, it is relationship extraction. I will show you a demo. This is the first Arabic relationship extractor. Uh, at this time, we support only three, three relations. So given a sentence, we extract three entities. So this is an agent, location, and habendat. This is good for event relation or event argument extraction or event relation extraction so it's it extracts only event and its agents and event and its location event and the time when when it happened the data set is called wujud hadat is also available for uh, downloading in addition to the uh cna tools the code which actually by the way it's very high accuracy also now I will show you the fifth module in CNA tools, which is related to synonyms. We have two uh, methods. One is to extend synonyms, to enrich synonyms. So you give us a word, we give you more. Or to evaluate, so you give us a set of synonyms and we evaluate them. So if you see here, let me show you the demo. So given two words, you can say extend them. So you extend them, you get more synonyms. You can, the more you put, the more you put here, the more accurate the output. Uh, as you see here, there is a number, uh, 62 and uh, 31. So this say uh, maslak is more related to, as a synonymy, to these words than this one. Uh, so if you can, you can even put one, uh, one word, you say mamar, but the, then the numbers means nothing after that. Uh, so it, it, if you put one, you get some bolosomy, some bolosomy, not completely, but the more you put, the better the results. So now I will show you the evaluate method. The, the evaluate method is like given a set of terms and you can, you, uh, uh, you can say uh, if whether these sets are synonyms or how much each of them belongs to this set, basically. Uh, you press evaluate, and then it will say, well, Tariq is more related than Mamar, than Sabil, than Maslak, but Tawli is zero, because it's not, not related. By the way, this is interesting uh, method, because sometimes when we extract things using Baird, for example, when we have noise, we can clean it up. Okay, so the semantic relatedness module is actually simple, uh, given two uh, sentences. We can say, we can compute the degree uh, uh, of relatedness between them according to various things like uh, meaning, uh, underlying concepts, the, the domain, the topic, and so on. Uh, this is an example uh, where you can use it. These two sentences say, the, we score them like 90%. Okay, and now I will show you a very useful um, uh, method in CNA tools, uh, which is called diacritic based Arabic word matching. So you see like given two words, this is fa'ala with different diacritics. Can we say whether they are, compare, compare them, whether they are equal or not? Well, it says you are, they are equal. Uh, so this is, uh, without going into details, it's very smart algorithm uh, that we um, developed to compare words. Uh, it considering the last diacritic, the Hamza, the Shadda, all of this. And we can say, we can give you some, the number of conflicts, the distance between words, 
we call it the implication score, or like where the one implies where two, or where two implies where one, or both imply each other, or they don't imply each other, and so on. So the comparison of diacritized, partially diacritized words is uh, uh, implemented in this, we call it implication function. The details can be found in this paper, actually. So now I will show you some of the last but not least uh, the some utilities very useful utilities you can try them um, if you check the here so we have a parser module the parser consists of several methods I, we love this rstrip rstrip is is a method and you say you can choose to remove diacritics small diacritics you know small diacritics are like the uh, scene, the small scene on top of, of a letter or something there, we call them small diacritics, or the shadda, or the digits, or special characters. You can but just say true or false. This is an example. Uh, this is an example here. Uh, true, 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 false, false, and then you get the, uh, the results. Uh, you can strip. Uh, the, we have also similarity similarity uh, between uh, like given set of words, we can say the union, the intersection, and the jacquard also. The jacquard uh, uh, score between two sets of words, regardless of their diacritics. So we, we take the diacritics into consideration. Uh, you can try the, the demo. We have also a tokenizer, sentence tokenizer, that is split a corpus into sentences, with, and so on. Um, in addition, uh, we have also very useful tool for to detect duplications in a corpus. We use uh, cosine similarity to compute um, similarities between sentences, and we find so up to a, a certain threshold, uh, similarity threshold, we can uh, remove the uh, remove redundancies. So this is a set of useful. Uh, utilities for text parsing. Thank you for listening. And uh, just to mention that if you face any problem, you can report it in the uh, here in GitHub as an issue. And uh, please also cite our uh, article. All the details are in this article, Sina Tools Open Source Toolkit for Arabic and uh, uh, NLU. And I would like uh, to give the special thanks to uh, Taima Hamoudi and also to Mohammed Khalilia and to the rest of the teams at Sina Lab because uh, many uh, uh, of them participated somehow in the uh, creation of Sina Tools. Thank you for listening.